Hey guys! So today is going to be my IMATS haul. I'm pretty sure all of you know that I just got back from New York City um, and I went for IMATS. And if you're not familiar with IMATS is, a lot of people have still been asking me, it is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. And no, you do not need, have to be a professional makeup artist to attend. It is open to the public on Saturday and Sunday. This was my first time at any IMATS. They have them all over. I'll link their actual website in the bottom so you can see all the locations. Um, but it was this past weekend, April 14th and 15th, the New York City one. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I got. Yeah, let's just get into the goods. Oh, of course. Sorry, that was my mom. <laughs> so yeah, let's just jump in. I didn't get as much stuff as I wanted to because the lines were super, super long. I wanted to go to Inglot and every time I would walk by, it was just like crazy. Like just people shoving and pushing and trying to get in. And Inglot was really weird. Um, you just couldn't grab like what you wanted and put it in your bin and like check out. You had to like get a piece of paper and like write down what you wanted and then try to get someone's attention. So I was just like, forget that. Um, so I'll start off with what I bought the most of, which was NYX. Um, NYX was a really, really long line too, but when I actually waited in the line, I thought that you had to go all the way around, but you didn't. Like, I cut right into the booth. I don't know, I might have cut the line, I'm not sure. So a lot of the stuff that I got, I was kind of just like snatching and grabbing and like throwing it in, so um, yeah. <laughs> so the first two things that I got, uh, one of them is the Shine Killer, and then one of them is the Pore Filler, and they just look like this shine killer pore filler I love any kind of like primer or anything like that that you put on your face before you put your foundation on I'm like a sucker for these so the shine killer just says it's a professional potion to eliminate the look of oil and shine so the face stays matte and fresh all day long which I love since we all know I have oily skin and then the pore filler is a magical agent that minimizes the look of pores I believe that these are new from NYX um, I'm not sure I think there was like there was like new signs like kind of around certain products but like I said it was so like hectic I was like reaching over people People, like snatching stuff up so pore filler shine filler wait pore filler shine killer yeah yeah I got um a matte bronzer and this one is in medium and it just looks like this so it is a matte like I said matte bronzer which I love and it's pretty um it's not like super dark for being medium but it'll work for like contouring and stuff glad I got that then I got also a blusher and bronzer combo and this one is in Ibiza it's got cute little white packaging this time which is weird and then it just looks like this <laughs> so that is um, Ibiza I will put everything that I bought of course in the bottom bar like always you don't know an answer to a question you want to know what where these hoops earrings are from you want to know where this t-shirts from you want to know where my hair extensions are from it's all in the bottom bar so you guys should check it out the next thing that I got was the NYX um, Studio Photogenic Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And then it says like all this stuff like mineral rich, talic free, oil free, water resistant, sweat resistant, and then it says it feels like silk on the skin. And then the color that I got this in, I think this is too dark for me as well, um, this is Sienna. And it's in, it just looks like this, powder foundation, and um... Ugh. It's a little dark, but that's what it looks like. Like I said, I do like to get them a little bit lighter than myself um, because I do wear bronzer. But maybe I can try to wear this and kind of skip the bronzer. So it was really hard to kind of check out your colors because it was just like people were like breathing down your neck and it was super, super crazy in there. But yeah, got a little powder foundation. And then I got two of these foundations. These are the Stay Matte Not Flat liquid foundations and again they say oil free water based full coverage mineral enriched and a matte finish and I got two colors I got them in natural and I got it in tan um, I got more of a dark color and more of a light color just so I can kind of make my perfect shade together so natural and tan were the two that I got they still are wrapped oh I just threw it back in the bag uh -huh. um I'm kind of excited to try these out because I do like full cover full coverage foundation um that's just what I like I know that I don't need full coverage but that's just what I like don't kill me um but yeah these little guys like this and just in case if you were wondering what the discount was at NYX I believe it was only 30% off but I mean anytime there's a sale I'm like oh yeah I'm going crazy um so then I got um the NYX studio photogenic foundation and the foundation is HD 
Um, says good for all skin types, softens lines, light diffusing effect, is perfect coverage for studio photos or taking fun pics with pals. I got this in sand beige. So this is what it, the um, bottle looks like. I'm excited to try this. So I will let you guys know. And again, that was in sand beige. I really don't remember like how much everything was. Like I have a price list right here, but it doesn't tell me like what the products were. It just says department nine. Then I got one of the black label lipsticks, and this is the color Hot Pink. It just looks like this. They've got really nice packaging. I do like the packaging on the um, black label lipsticks. So I'll just open it up and give you guys a little swatch. It is gorgeous. So that's the color that it looks like. Um, I didn't grab a lot of these because um, a lot of them were shimmery, and I'm not a fan of, like, shimmery lipsticks. So that's that. Again, it is in the color Hot Pink. I got a Mega Shine lip gloss in Sugar Pie. I did get another one, but I realized I was, already had it, so I just gave it to um, Ashley. She was who went with me to IMATS. A lot of you have been asking who filmed for you, and my friend Ashley filmed for me. So, so it's just like a nice little nude lipstick, um, lip gloss. I realized that I don't really have nude lip glosses, that I really just have pink lip glosses, so I was like, all right, let me get a nude. So that's Sugar Pie. Then I got the, what is this? This is a matte lipstick, and it is in the color Hippie Chic. Um, I didn't really like a lot of these matte lipsticks, but this one did catch my eye because it was like a pinky kind of corally color. It's coming off a little bit lighter on camera. Um, I got some lip liner. So Dolly Pink, Mauve, and Nude Pink. I got two eyeliners. I got one in Pearl White and one in Electric Blue. Which just look like this. Then I got two jumbo lip pencils. I got one in Soft Fuchsia and then one in Chaos. I don't know if you guys can see those. So this is um, Soft Fuchsia and then this is Chaos. Got an eyebrow pencil in medium brown. It just, you know, it's got the pencil on one side and then the brush on the other. So brush and then pencil and it's in medium brown. And then last but not least, I got from NYX is a NYX Color Bomb. These were kind of these were new. I think that they said new on them. And I grabbed the like lightest color because I like my lip balms to be like more on the nudie side. And I don't think this one will have any color payoff. Um, it kind of does. Mm, it smells really good. What does it smell like? Some. It smells like a candy I used to eat when I was like little. I feel like. So there's not really any color. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just love lip balm. So I was like, oh, I must try that. So yeah. So that's all the stuff that I got from NYX. Then I only got, what is this? Oh, ha <laughs> um, And then from Stila, I only got one thing from Stila and I got the Stay All Day 10 in 1 um, HD Beauty Balm, which just looks like this. It is in the tube backwards. So it just looks like this. Um, and then I'll tell you the benefits really quick. Long wearing, high definition formula helps reduce pore size and provides oil and blemish control. Features an exclusive comple complex, uh, which helps reduce redness and skin irritation. Use the smallest particle size of coated pigments for seamless smooth coverage. Luxurious beauty balm glides onto skin and lifts a silky powder foundation. Ideal for all skin types and skin tones. And it's oil free, paraben free, and dermatologist tested. So it is again the Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Beauty Balm. This is what it looks like. Super shiny. Then I went to Eve Pearl and I got three things from them that I had been wanting to try for a little minute. The first thing that I got was the um, Eve Pearl Anti-Shine Mattifying Gel. So I wanted to try this because anything that can eliminate shine from my face, I am all about. So it is a pretty little, little bottle. Um, it's not big at all. And this was the only size that they had there. So I got that. And then I also got two concealers from them. I got the Dual Salmon Concealer and Treatment. I got them in Fair Light and Light Medium because I wasn't positive on what color that I liked because I do like pretty light concealers. Um, so yeah, it's oil-free, water-free, paraben-free, petroleum-free, fragrance-free, mineral oil-free, and cruelty-free. Um, and you can build it up. It is sheer, medium, or full coverage. So here's what they look like. This is the Fair Light Concealer. Oh, this all this is what they look like. Just cute little packaging. You open them up, and then you have your fair and light concealers. They're so creamy, so smooth. Cannot wait to use them. I haven't used any of this stuff um, because I've been waiting to show you guys. <laughs> 
So that's that one. And then of course the other one's obviously going to look exactly the same. It's just going to be a little darker. And this one is, oh, I can't open it. Oh, this one is light medium. So yeah. Um, again, I will put everything in the bottom bar. So if you miss something that I said, you can always hit rewind or you can just look down below where all of the answers are. So got that. That's from Eve Pearl. Then, um, you guys saw, if you haven't seen my eye mats, inside eye mats video, I sit down and I get, like, um, some ladies, like, applying something to my eyeliner. She's actually applying, um, eye candy. So, it's just the little candy bag that I got. I think I got six glitter eyeliners. This is the one that I had on my eye, and it was just sugar cane. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see, but it's kind of like, just like a little gold glitter pigment. And then it comes with the liquid sugar. One of them is leaking, the blue one, because there's blue glitter all over this. And then it comes with just a little brush. I love this. I loved how it looked on my makeup. I loved how it looked with my neutral makeup. It just gave it a nice little pop. So, and I got lots of compliments on that. So, this is just a little candy bag. Boo-boo, you cannot sit up there. Boo-boo, what the hell? You can't have no respect. You, you can't sit up there. Mom's like on an angle now. You're just sitting up there looking all cute. Like you run the show and, you know, boo-boo. Boo-boos. Turn your back on me. And then, last but not least, I got the model in a bottle. Um, I walk by this booth a bunch of times. I've always heard of Model in a Bottle. I've never tried it. I do really love setting sprays, um, but I have literally tons and tons of Scandinavia like setting sprays. So um, I passed the booth a couple times and I was like, nah, I don't know if I'm going to get Model in a Bottle. Then we went to Candy Johnson's speech and someone was like, oh, what's the best setting spray, you know, to keep makeup on all day? And she's like, Model in a Bottle. It will lock and load your makeup. So I was like, all right, must go back and get it. So I got the um, matte finish one, and it just looks like this, and then, you know, you put your this in it to sh sh spray it on your face. No, you cannot go up there, boo-boo. You must stay here. The camera's over there. Okay? And of course, I just had to get the matte finish because I'm an oily mess. So that was everything that I got from iMats. Again, I wish I'd gotten more, but the lines were just crazy. Uh, yeah, so... That's it. Until next time, I will see you guys. No, wait. What? What? Yeah, I think that's all I want to say. Tick tock, you don't stop. Rockin' to the. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!